Good afternoon, everybody. We've concluded the first round of stroke play qualifying at the 53rd Nebraska Match Play Championship, and Alec, the field went low today. Absolutely, a lot of guys in the red figures. And leading that is a three-way tie at the top of the leaderboard. At four under, we start with Calvin Freeman from Table Rock. He started off his day on fire. He had zero bogeys in route to his four under 68. Alec, great round from him. Yeah, definitely consistent. Not a single bogey, only guy in the field to do so. And he got on a nice stretch there on the back where he was able to make three birdies in four holes. He was the low round of the morning and joining him first in the afternoon was Christian Hall of Omaha. He had four birdies en route to his four under 68 and Alec, he had four birdies on the back nine alone. Yes, he tied the second, or tied the lowest score on the back nine with a 32. Definitely impressive stuff there. And the last person to get to four under par today was Luke Kluver of Norfolk. He got off to a bit of a rocky start, played his first three holes at two over, and then played the other 15 at six under. Yeah, you talked about that slow start, but definitely he saw the course for the first time, was able to get comfortable out there. It definitely showed in that back nine. And then at tied for fourth is two, Jace Guthmiller of Omaha. He played the back nine at four under with zero bogeys. Yes, tied Christian Hall with that 32 on the back nine, including a pretty impressive birdie here on 18. And then he's joined by CJ Farber of Kearney, who had three birdies on each side to get him to three under 69 for the round. And then tied for sixth is a whole host of guys at two under par. That's Chris Kelly of Omaha, Jay Moore of Lincoln, Bill Amundsen of Bennington, Nate Vance of Lincoln, and Jake Kluver of Norfolk. Some pretty solid play from all those guys. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely, like we mentioned, a lot of guys went low today, and that's going to mean a packed top of the leaderboard. So that'll do it for day one of stroke play qualifying here at Hillcrest Country Club. We'll be back tomorrow morning bright and early. You can follow along on Twitter at NGA Golf for all of the highlights, interviews, recaps, and more.